Excel's new checkboxes have thousands of use cases, but in this video, we're going to explore a particularly unique one, creating checkbox timestamps. That's right, we can create checkboxes that automatically enter the date and time when checked. Let's take a look at how. For example, here we have a list of projects and we want to add a checkbox timestamp for each project so we know the exact date and time each project was completed. First things first, if you haven't already, go ahead and insert checkboxes in the status column by selecting the cells, navigating to the insert tab and selecting the checkbox command. Now that we have checkboxes, it's time to enter a formula that returns the current date and time when a checkbox is checked. To do this, select the first timestamp cell enter the ifs function, and now we need to enter a few conditions. For the first condition, we want the timestamp to remain blank if the checkbox is unchecked. So we'll enter C5 equals false as the test one argument and double quotes as the value one argument. Here's where it gets a bit interesting, but stay with me. If the checkbox is checked, we want to use the now function to return the current date and time. However, if we just enter the now function, it will update every time the workbook recalculates, which is not what we want. Instead, we'll add another condition to check if the current cell is blank, and if it is, we'll return the now function. Finally, we'll add a catch-all condition for when the checkbox is checked and cell D5 contains a timestamp by entering true as the test three argument and the value in cell D5 as the value three argument. Now, instead of recalculating the now function when the formula recalculates, it'll default to the value already in cell D5 because that is the first true condition in our ifs formula. Fill this formula down the column and before you panic, the results are going to look incorrect because we just created a circular reference. A circular reference error occurs when a formula refers to its own cell, but don't worry, we can easily fix this by enabling iterative calculations. To do this, navigate to the File tab, select Options, open the Formulas menu, and check Enable Iterative Calculation. All this does is force Excel to recalculate the formula until a condition is met when there is a circular reference. Click OK to save the settings, and there you have it. Now whenever you check off a project, you'll automatically get a timestamp showing the date and time it was completed. Out of all the checkbox use cases, I think this one's pretty cool. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more Excel tips and tricks.